I don't think Pep's legacy has been good for football. 97 point season, 97 points. And we finished Not second. You know, like that doesn't happen. That was more points than Ferguson ever got in any of his seasons, more points than Wenger ever got in any of his seasons. Won the league back to back mm -hmm. and 10 years later came back and won the league oh, again. Yeah. Taking the mick out of the league. What's happening, everyone, and welcome to 888 Sport. On this episode of The Playlist, we are going to be ranking the greatest Premier League managers of all time. The managers that I would like you to rank are Sir Alex Ferguson, Jurgen Klopp, Pep Guardiola, Jose Mourinho, and Arsene Wenger. <laughs> Just before we do our reveal, will you please do us a favour? Click the subscriber button right now. It really helps us out. We're inching ever closer to 100k, so please help us get there. Thank you very much. The best managers in the Premier League era... <laughs> so mine takes a little bit of explaining. There's, it's, a, it's more tactics boards Fergie than, than the top five list. Okay, I need to hear this. Ferguson third. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guardiola top. Because what I've done is, to be fair, I've rated it off the manager's first eight years. <laughs> um, well, and that's set, it. A, set a parameter that really suits your argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you look, ultimately, Jürgen Klopp has been Liverpool manager for eight years. And it's fair to rank him. And look, let's be honest, you know, it's, we're living in the, the, you know, the, the beginning of the end of the Jürgen Klopp era of football in, in, in England, so I thought it was it was only fair to put him as the barometer. Now, what I've got is Guardiola top because ultimately he's won absolutely everything, but he gets a big asterisk because ultimately 115 charges of financial irregularities. Whether that comes to fruition or not is, is the thing. And if it doesn't, and if, he, and if they're cleared and it's fine and they haven't financially doped, um, then he's the best of all time because of what he's done in that, in that spell, of, spell of time. Then, based on the eight-year thing, Wenger won three Premier League titles mm. in his first eight years. Alex Ferguson won two. Mm. Um, and I've got Klopp there for... Why eight years, though? Ridiculous. You can't do the eight years. That's how long Jürgen really Klopp's been in the, in the league for. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... Cause, cause no, logic, can it. I do this first two years? Because then Mourinho... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and as a result, so and Mourinho ultimately wasn't there for any, anything like eight years, so he goes down the bottom, obviously. That's a, that's a given. Uh, and then Jürgen Klopp, if he manages to win a league title this season... Given everything that he's had to fight against, I hate and you. every other major trophy I that he's won, which is every major trophy, um, he would be the he would this be is the best. A, this is fantastic. I'm really enjoying it. It doesn't answer the question at all that we were supposed no, to, but it proves, to answer. It proves right. where he's at emotionally. <laughs> do you know, do you know what? He's going through a lot right now. And do you know what I like as well? Do you know? Do you know when, like you can imagine, like in his GCSEs, he doesn't know the answer to that question. But what I do know the answer to, I'm going to therefore it's got answer. Yeah, yeah, put it there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm going to make. I'm going to make my knowledge relevant. Well, again, okay. I think we all agree that that's not correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Away from that, the answer is Sir Alex Ferguson. Of course it yeah. is. That's Pep yeah. Guardiola. Of course yeah. it is. Is it Pep? Do you believe it's Pep Guardiola? Yeah. Realistically, I, I think Klopp is, is the best manager in all of these because throughout this period, Manchester United were the richest club in the Premier League. The only time they weren't was when they didn't win the title and that was the Blackburn. You then got, obviously, I think Wenger, pound for pound, in that early, the first half of Wenger was, was as good as absolutely anything. But like, just what, what Klopp's managed to achieve like 97 point season mm. 97 points and, and we finished second winning. you know like that doesn't happen that was more points than Ferguson ever got in any of his seasons more points than Wenger ever got in any of his seasons and everyone goes oh like, but Klopp's like no I know but everyone yeah. goes Klopp's only won one changed. Premier that's because nice, if Sir Alex was in his prime now yeah. doing what he would do that's no, no, suggesting no. that he wouldn't be able to do that because the, the error's changed at the end of the day what Sir Alex did yeah, but for the error that he was in but they he, he couldn't do have done any more than anybody else because he did more than against, everybody else but, they were, but that's the point he's right but they weren't competing against that the unlevel so playing field. So had to compete against every new manager that started to come for his throne, and he and he and in the end, don't get me wrong, as it got towards the end, um, with City doing what they're doing, and he still managed to get one and get out. But he fought off Jose, he's fought off Wenger, yeah, he's he fought, fought off he fought three of these he fought, five. Uh, yeah, mm. so like for a sustained period of time, continually reinventing his team. You know how different to, to the point where now. We're not seeing people stay at, at teams 20 years plus. I get it, it's a different time, it's a different era. Mm. We're seeing we're seeing Pe uh, Klopp and fair play to him say, oh, eight and a half years, mate. Yeah, I need, oh, I need to refresh. 
Dr. Alex never did that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, th that's a beast. This is a one of one. Yeah. What, th there's never going to be another person who, who's done that. Can't oh, argue. No, I, I'm joking. I can sit here and I, I, I will happily, merrily make the case against it. But I, my, my point stands is that, though, is that we'll never be able to judge eras against eras. Mm. But if it comes out that, if it does come out that Man City have broken the rules and they are punished for it, that will be the most oh, galling thing about it, it because. They're gone then. Yeah. He's off. Because if, if that happens, he's gone. Yeah, and and it's yeah. not because when you go this whole how many how many trophies that they win thing, that's the thing that annoys me about the Klopp stuff. Because I hear people go, you only won one Premier League. Yeah, it's yeah, like it's the same as lads, Ranieri, isn't he? he got ninety two points and he got ninety seven points and finished second both them seasons. Yeah, but the, but, that but, never, that ne no one yeah, no but, one ever Paul, did that. But 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 the bar is the bar. Yeah, you, that, that you can't you can't just feel sorry for Klopp because like all of a sudden there's this massive power force immovable object of Guardiola because when there was immovable objects, i.e. when Chelsea got all the money, how are Man United going to reinvent themselves? You better find a way. You got to do it. You got to get it done. I don't want to hear like oh, we so want finishing, some sympathy for 98 points. We didn't quite get it. it, it the bar is the bar. Fin finishing second, ultimately history is written by the winners and whether that's yeah. right or not, yeah. history is written by oh, like, Leeds United finished second throughout the 70s, like to various different teams. They never won the lip, but nobody really knows. We don't knows talk that. about that. Yeah, Leeds United, that's in, I think 75, they got beat in the European Cup final. Cheated, in fact. But again, nobody really talks about that because they finished second. Klopp, Klopp's yeah. unbelievable. He's 100%, he's one of the best managers of this era. He's deserved a seat at this table in the top five. That's a funny one for me but, because even if the charges come through, I wouldn't discredit his name as much as you're saying in terms of taking him off this list because I think we've seen multiple teams and clubs over the years have money. No, it's so significant. And he, but, but you know, Pep's revolutionized the game, whether for good or bad, because you know what? Yes. One thing about Pep for me is, yeah, and, and this is probably an argument that for another day, but I don't think Pep's legacy has been good for football. I don't think what Pep brought in in terms of this system-based no, mathematical yeah, yeah, approach, I, I think it's kind of made, made football a bit stagnant, stale. But is that, you, we're, is, that, is that because we're bored of seeing that system or is it because we're no, bored but, of but, the but, but look, be but look, the look at the pool. Look at the pool of... to be mavericks, isn't it? Talk to me about the top five goalkeepers in the world, the top five strikers in the world, the top five midfielders, the top five defenders. They don't stand a chance against the top five 20 years ago. And I think a big part of that is of um, Pep's system-based approach, the mm. cogs to the mm. bigger system. It's not I think now I. when you get so many managers copying this style and I think it's on them as well as it's on Pep because back in the day of Ferguson Wenger when Mourinho came it was it was clashing styles against each other. It was yeah. styles make fights. Now this, everyone's trying to copy the the style master who's yeah. Pep and I don't think that that's done well for football now when that's you where look Klopp's at done well. The market. Because I think he has yeah, he quite has, an yeah. identifiable style. Yeah, he's that is his front yeah. foot. I mean, when he first came in, everyone was talking about heavy gegenpressing pressing and, and heavy yeah. metal, rock star football, etc., etc. It's actually slightly polar opposite to how meticulous and methodical he's still Pep great style though, is. Pep. Before people, he's yeah. still look, he's second on my list. And he's he's, he he's, a, he's one of the great of the trophy accumulation. I just don't enjoy and, and do you know the other thing? Mm. Two 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 of Guardiola's since achievements. Barcelona, anyway. Two, yeah. two of Guardiola's achievements, which I think are so impressive, which perhaps don't get discussed as often because there's so much to discuss. Everyone will talk about the treble. They did a domestic treble, which is huge. hundred points, man. Yeah, massive. Hundred yeah. points. Crazy. Like centurions. Yeah. You know, that's for me, the centurions is every bit as impressive. In fact, it, so much more impressive than, say, the Invincibles. So much yeah. more impressive, 100 points. It's it's better, simply it's defined as being better. It's there is a points. thing that I think, yeah, when, when something's got a name, I think it's easier for us to sort of wrap our arms yeah. around the it. Centurions, the Invincibles. Yeah, exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, obviously, yeah, you, yeah. you know, treble, yeah. the, the, you know, Ferguson's treble side yeah. and all that, all that kind of stuff. That definitely, definitely adds to it. Do, can we just talk about the, 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 long, the longevity thing? Because obviously Ferguson wins because of longevity, hands down. That's why I've got Mourinho bottom of the list because again, brand brightly but can shortly. I, can I ask you just about his longevity? Just to throw this in, won the league back to back, mm -hmm. and ten years later came back and won the league again. That was massive, yeah. yeah. Taking the mick out of the league. That is. Came back ten years mm -hmm. later. A lot of the same team, the same captain, in fact. Yeah, it was massive. Came massive. back ten years later to win it and won the league cup that year as well. And I think like, if you're talking so, about Mavericks, about people who, again, you look at change football or have their style, Mourinho's was looked at and frowned upon mm -hmm. about the yeah. way he plays the game. He threw a spanner in the works with 100 yeah. it was. It was like, how Jamie can, how can you be yeah. this successful playing like that? Yeah. It w yeah. was how it was. Yeah, yeah. And then how can you be that arrogant about playing that type of football 
Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. it all worked. It, it all got worked the impression, no one could talk to him. You got the impression that Jose Mourinho actually hates football. And he hates <laughs> footballers. He hates, he hates good footballers. <laughs> he hates everything about it. And he yeah. wanted to prove that he could do it in like the most horrible... But he is a serial winner. Yeah. A serial winner, but also, winner. But also an incredibly intelligent footballing mind. Like I heard yeah. Jamie Carragher talking about how football, attacking football changed with Jose Mourinho. You know, that, that one man up top. Mm. Up until that point, up until Drogba, it was two. Yeah. And then suddenly it became one with Duff and Robin or whatever. And it changed. And then everybody was doing the same thing. Yeah. So it was as impactful as what Guardiola has done. Guardiola in terms of like changing the game, playing out from the back, goalkeepers starting attacks. Guardiola putting his mark on the Premier League. I think Jose Mourinho gets, did though. Mourinho did, did all that. He mixed it up. And, and until yeah. it took Portuguese Jamie Carragher Sam to flag it. Yeah, really <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's a myth though. You yeah. know, you know that it's the 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 defensive look. He's a manager that obviously understands defending. But some of the most pulsating football I've ever seen at Stamford Bridge: Duff, Robin, Drogba, Lampard coming through, Michael Essien, Michael yeah. Back. Like it was, it was good football as well. It was, yeah, yeah it was. It was the peak at, at of times, that time. The yeah. peak of that. Yeah, he like didn't Joe, want, he, Joe Cole, he was like, he, yeah. he didn't, but his, his, his ethos was, we don't want the football, because when you've got the football, you make mistakes. So don't have the football, let yeah. the other team have the football, which is just, oh, you see it as oh. anti, because that's, yeah, well, that that's goes against I, everything that yeah, your yeah. club kind of stands for. And, yeah, and, just, and obviously Klopp as well. And but what, but, yeah, but when, also, you, when you play football, you want the ball, don't you? What pointless possession. Yeah. He wouldn't what he didn't want was you know you know those stats and 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 to be honest I turn my nose up at them as well. You know if somebody goes we had we had 74% of the possessions today and we got beat 1-0 who's the real winner? Yeah. Like, yeah. Them. Yeah. 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 You know it's, it's that kind of yeah, yeah. Yeah. since him no teams that win the league you got to average above 60% possession to win the league. Mm. I think if Jose didn't have um some of the toxicity um labels against him so all the things you said that go right for Jose, mm. there's an equal and a proportionate thing on the side that says yeah. it always goes wrong. He falls out of love with the players. He falls out of uh, yeah. love with the fans, the club. Then he's off, throws a strop. Then he'll go somewhere else. There's the shelf life. Then he goes. Terrible but, man manager. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and I feel that's from, what doesn't endear people to him as much. We say terrible man manager. We have Frank Lampard, the second in a Ballon d'Or to Ronaldinho. Yeah, I feel... I, I, <laughs> Does he make players better? People used to say that one as well. I know, but you know that, uh, you know, what type of players does he buy? Oh, I mean, Who does he improve? Didn't he was raw, wasn't he? Yeah. And, and look, and look, look, he was raw. Time, yeah. By the time he left, he was arguably the best centre forward in the world at the time. I, I'm not one to defend, defend Jose, yeah, but I, think, I don't think his man management was poor. I just think um, men are not the same men anymore, if that makes sense. Yeah, he couldn't in the game, with yeah. yeah. I, I just think the, the games with yeah. the players are soft now. Yeah. You know, the, the new generation, the last two he generations of players. He couldn't change, yeah. Of, but Ferguson he now with the times. probably couldn't manage now because, what, well, a boot, boot to the face, he'd be, he'd be in court the next yeah. day, yeah. Yeah. you know? So I think that Mourinho's man management style suited that era that, mm. unfortunately for him probably, was the end for that style of management because he still had the Balaks and he still had the Macaladies yeah. and he still had... When he came, Chelsea, the like Fabregas, Diego Costa, yeah, people yeah. that grew up in a generation of a rough edge. Yeah, and the they don't mind being no, talked yeah, to yeah. in a way it's because, you know. Look, the thing is, it works with Mourinho in the short term because you'll you'll take getting abused because you if know you're going to win in the yeah. short term, but that war thin very quickly yeah. with everyone he's ever, apart from those few who, who he had that little spell with and they were the favourites, like, like your Lampards mm -hmm. and stuff will probably speak favourably, but I bet. There's a huge chunk of the players who were absolutely detest him. Yeah. After yeah. But he's won everywhere he won he's gone, though, everywhere. apart from Spurs, which, which I think is <laughs> which is true. So <laughs> that's just, that is just a Spurs everywhere. thing. Like even even and also at Tottenham, they sacked him before the final. Yeah, he got and them Ryan Mason the only lost that final one 0 Yeah, but with Wenger, I think the, his European lack of a legacy, I'd say, does hold him back in list. But I think the fact that he had three Premier League titles pushes him up a little bit. Three Premier and League titles over what eighteen years. Yeah, but then you know. But in the when, first when, eight, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see, that's how you say. Yeah, he's right. Turkish, he's right. He's right. <laughs> but Rory's, Rory's quick off the mark with that. Yeah, the latter half of Wenger was poor, mm. but Jose Mourinho's latter half sacked by Tottenham, sacked by United, sacked by Chelsea. So. Trophy at United, trophy at uh, trophy yeah. everywhere. I mean, but also, but Wenger's but last. Hold on, Wenger's last. Eight years was ten years was seen as a failure. He won three FA Cups, yeah, in but that. he also, in the middle of it, went a decade without a trophy. Can I can I put ne some respect on Wenger's name here? Nearly though? nine. Because I feel like I, I feel like we, oh, we, we got sacked by Tottenham. Right? 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 Remembering the end of Wenger, right when it was sour, 
Like I, this happens a lot in football, whether it's with new players. So now obviously Kevin De Bruyne is the best ever player to ever play in yeah, the league so and all this and kind of stupid yeah. stuff here, yeah, when it's just not true. Because it's not, because no, it's we, not. we're just forgetting all of the greats that have gone before and the errors that they had to play and the jobs they had to do and the luxuries they didn't get afforded, right? Wenger changed football. Easy. Like he changed it, but he changed but it. He changed it for the better. Everyone on this list has changed And he brought, no, he brought no. players into this Only league. Only Wenger and Guardiola. He brought, he brought players into this league, yeah, and won with them with a whole different style. Make an argument whole about someone else. different diet. And the legacy that goes on with these types of players that won, like a Thierry oh, Henry. Different diet. Yeah, that, that was whole, massive. He changed, he changed a lot, Roy. He changed everything. Massive. To the way that players trained, to the way that they recovered, to the type of football mm. that they played. He came with a whole different pioneer style. He chew to win, didn't he? Wenger thing. He, he believed that you needed to chew your food more to digest them more and that would make you... I believe him. So I believe him. He was meticulous. Small manageable he was meticulous chunks. with his approach. GCSE bite size. He was meticulous <laughs> with his approach. <laughs> I believe him, bro. Yeah, but you could say that about everyone on this list. Everyone on this list has changed football. I spoke about Pep already. Pep's changed football and we can argue for better or for worse. There's no argument with Wenger. When Wenger came in, everyone started copying that balance that he had because he came into a team that had that core English base in defence, the George Graham built defence that was, you know, one of the best defences this country has seen. Forget the Premier League era. And then he added the source into that. Mm. And we didn't really see teams and clubs like that before. Again, I'm going to lean on what Ferguson said. Ferguson said that initially when Wenger came in, a guy from Japan, he, he, he can't live up to it here. I agree, I agree. Later, in terms of, Ferguson in terms was of the red-faced impact, after every interview. I, I do agree <laughs> with you. In terms of the impact that Arsene Wenger made, he... If, we're, he was the first manager that everyone tried to copy. Yeah. So yeah. all of a sudden, everyone needed to have That's their style. own Arsenal. Arsenal for the hey, better, for the better for, non-negotiable. Yeah. Like Peter yeah. Henry was playing off the left, cutting inside as a strike. What? Yeah. What's he What's he doing out there? Yeah, yeah, these yeah. these Pires, days. What's yeah, he yeah, doing yeah, over yeah. there? It's all You've got inverted now. Vieira driving through the middle and Burkamp dropping off yeah. the front. Yeah. What's going on here? Mm. That, that's what you looked at. Like, he like. certainly changed football for the better. Football was a... Football was better then mm -hmm. yeah. definitely yeah. it was a better it was a better spectacle it was more enjoyable so i i do agree i don't with look that. at klopp Mourinho, or even sir alex as, as people that change football i think you could I, I i probably agree with you on that if klopp wins the league this year what where what impact do you think that has on his position in this <sighs> look I, I i will i will go to about forever for Jurgen klopp because yeah. i actually think in terms of like we talk about changing changing the game it's actually the impact he had on everything around him as well you know pep guardiola is not now the pep guardiola that left barcelona mm. because he had to go up against klopp in germany he's got up against klopp in england mm. and it's fundamentally changed how he does how he does what he does i think a combination factor of what he won you know, he won every trophy you possibly could win. If he manages to win the Europa League, it'd be unnecessary in that regard because it's not seen as a top, top no, tier one. Set, but it would be completely yeah, the same. It's nice to complete the set. Um, if he manages to make it to two Premier Leagues, at least there's that. Although it'll always be, well, it's such and such won three. You know, what, you know, what, what are you going to do? As far as what he did and what he was competing against at that time, I don't think that will be forgotten. Mm. Um, I think Klopp deserves to be in the in the conversation in the top in the top bracket. You know, if he adds, well, I think he's there anyway. If I'm honest, so, but if he gets to two Premier Leagues or more, yeah. if he yeah. wins another Premier League, would it change your list at all? Just on Paul's point, coming from someone that's gone through an era quite a while ago, people do forget what you come up against because even at Arsenal, why didn't you win back to back titles? Why they forget we came up against a Man United side? So I do think Klopp needs the next Premier League title to cement yeah. the legacy he deserves. Yeah. Mm. And I think if he does get that, then there's a strong case and I'd probably put him third in this list. I think the top two are untouchable. I think Sir Alex and Pep, have, what they've achieved, mm. I think no one's touching them for the considerable future, next 30 years at least. But I think, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Agree. Put, put an asterisk next to that. But, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. If Klopp was to win it can this all, year, can we all do that? I'd push him <laughs> asterisk. Yeah. This has been a thoroughly enjoyable debate. Thank you so much for watching it. Please do us a favour. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and make sure you click subscribe. See you all on the next episode. Thanks again for watching. If you would like to see us rank our top five Premier League AFCON icon legends, please click the link.